This is Mission Control Houston. Good morning. It is December 7th, 2020. Right now you're getting a live look from the International Space Station looking at the SpaceX Cargo Dragon on the CRS-21 mission. The Cargo Dragon is just a little less than ten, uh, 11 kilometers or 7 miles away from the International Space Station. This is a live look from some of the high-definition external cameras uh, looking out at the vehicle as the station and the uh, Dragon fly 263 statute miles over the North Atlantic Ocean about to cross into an orbital nighttime. So we'll see these views uh, just get a little bit dimmer uh, here shortly. Initiation burn is complete. Dragon is 31 minutes from 1,000 meters. Awesome. Great news. 31 minutes from 1,000 meters. Shutter close and work. Now getting views of uh, SpaceX Cargo Dragon as it makes its way towards the International Space Station after successfully conducting an approach initiation burn and an approach initiation mid-course maneuver. This is Mission Control Houston. The, uh, what you're looking at now is a live view from the International Space Station's uh, external high-definition cameras looking out at the uh, CRS-21 cargo spacecraft, SpaceX's uh, CRS-21. It's sitting inside uh, 1,000 meters inside the approach ellipsoid. Uh, actually, a little less than 730 meters. Now, as we continue to try to lock on from the International Space Station side, you can see the cameras from Dragon. Uh, we're getting some feeds past through ground stations, providing some a video feed uh, looking up at the uh, bright object in the sky that is the International Space Station. A little closer now, some of those features uh, being able to be made out as it makes its approach. Uh, now inside 700 meters, that next milestone will be 400 meters directly below. Uh, but this is essentially directly below the International Space Station. You can sort of pick out the solar rays on both sides and the uh, aft end of the station. This is the service module at the bottom of your screen on the, uh, on the right image there. It's looking beautiful, too. We're uh, right at the Terminator, so the sun's glinting off, but I wish you guys could see this. The uh, CRS-21 uh, cargo craft is continuing its approach uh, towards its uh, new home aboard the International Space Station, the International Docking Adapter 3. Uh, it is now swinging in front of the International Space Station, uh, still uh, trying to maintain those views uh, as it makes those dy dynamic, uh, that dynamic swing from the uh, bottom of Space Station, where it recently passed uh, waypoint zero, 400 meters directly below. You can sort of make it out in the distance at about 460 uh, statute miles swinging out in front of the International Space Station. It has not uh, crossed the uh, V-bar yet, or the velocity bar uh, that's right in front of the International Space Station, though it is very close, um, and that will be sort of in line with the uh, trajectory of the International Space Station and the current the docking axis of the uh, Crew Dragon that is currently docked uh, to the forward end. Uh, it's coming up uh, about to cross that V-bar very shortly. It'll then swing out uh, in front of and above the International Space Station to meet up with its next waypoint. That is 220 meters uh, directly above the International Space Station's uh, uh, IDA-3 International Docking Adapter 3 that's on the uh, Node 2 
uh, forward end of the International Space Station. Uh, so that'll be right in front. You can see uh, throughout this whole maneuver, it'll maintain its distance outside of the keep out sphere. That's an imaginary sphere, about 180, 185 meters around the International Space Station. It, it'll maintain a distance well beyond that. Right now it's uh, 460 meters away from the station as it uh, reaches that next milestone, waypoint one, of course, uh, when it gets uh, towards waypoint one, once it crosses that velocity bar at about this distance, about 450, 460 meters, uh, when it gets to waypoint one, it'll start going a little bit closer, 220 meters is that next milestone. a great view from Dragon as it uh, uh, approaches that velocity bar. This is this is a view directly in front of the International Space Station. The station is uh, reflecting quite a bit of light. This is Mission Control Houston. If you are wondering what the Rendezvous Proximity and Operations Program that uh, Kate Rubens and uh, Victor Glover are looking at aboard the International Space Station, this is their view. Everything's looking good. Dragon is 30 meters and closing from this uh, high-definition external view. You can see some of those service section Dracos firing, maintaining uh, Dragon's attitude as it approaches its next milestone, 20 meters away from the International Space Station's International Docking Adapter 3, uh, where it's expected to uh, dock in a little bit more uh, than 10 minutes from now. Station on Space to Ground 2, we can see the target. We can assess alignment at 33 meters. We are in good alignment. Copy. Good alignment at 33 meters. Station on Space to Ground 2, we see vehicle mode hold. We see good holding uh, range 25, decimal 9, 2 range rate 0. Good corridor alignment. And in the Dragon docking monitor, we see good alignment. We have briefed. Step five and step six, and we are go whenever you are. Station Houston, space to ground two. Dragon is resuming approach and is go for docking. Monitor per steps five and six in one decimal one zero two. Uncrew Dragon approach and retreat monitoring. Copy, steps five and six. Crew is also go for docking. some of the uh, International Space Station structure now coming into view as we uh, pass 12 meters from station. Now inside 10 meters. Approach is looking good and aligned. Sensation on space to ground two, range eight meters, good attitude. Copy, eight meters, good attitude. Dragon is now inside five meters.
three meters, uh, grounds have uh, called a hands-off point. Standing by for contact and capture. Sensation space to ground two, two meters, chop. Copy, chop. Crew hands off point. One meter. And we have confirmed contact and capture 12.40 p.m. Central Time. Station Houston, Dragon contact and soft capture complete. Soft capture complete. 